Who of you want to do things right? To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed in attaining all and that which is your need? To be heard by the real answerer of all deeds, the true hero of all whom pleads. Who of you really want to bow down to the true king of kings commanding the crown? To worship the one that ever rules alone, commanding everything of creation from the seat of its throne. Good evening and welcome to an I Have Moment to Calm Before the Storm. I'm your host, Minister Idris Taha. And with me have our panel discussion as always, my brother Fat Kev Abdul Aziz, Lord Holy Apostle Dean Salim, my Holy Queen Mother Rabbi Salim. May I ease his peace and other blessing be with about everybody's presence. May I ease his peace and other blessing be with about his presence. And all to you I have believers out there watching this program, may I ease his peace and other blessing be with about your presence as well. Uh, we were in the new year, thank I ease enough, in the year 2009. And one of the things that I easily explained to us and shown through the prophecy that this is a year will be a year of a lot of, I believe, turmoil and things are jumping off, you know, not just the economy and the housing, but greater things are going to be happening. And um, one of the things that our people need to realize here as African Americans in this country, in this region, is that the Lord have chosen many peoples at different times. You know, the Lord had blessed the Jews who called the Hebrews who call themselves Jews now at one time were the people that upheld the scepter of grace, as well as those who descend the Arabs who was given the scepter of grace through the Prophet Muhammad and that and now he's in this hour of the day now has called our people, the African American people of these United States of America. And it's given us an opportunity now to uphold this scepter and send down this, this covenant that is sent down through this messenger Holy Apostle Dean in this hour of the day that we may be saved by and be bring us a fourth of its truth in this hour of the day. But Aiza is showing us now, though he's been here for the last, going on 30 years now, our people have been, have been dropping the ball, will not pick up this truth, or this, this message you'll hear his word that the Lord has given through him to be graced and saved in this hour of the day. So with that, we're going to discuss that out there, plus with some other things in general view. But um, I know our people in this hour of the day are the most haters or the most fighters of this truth that I either send down. I either called them first out of his grace. And they are the vehement ones who are most vehement in the opposition and turning away from this truth that Allah is trying to give them. So with that, my brother, Holy Queen, Holy Apostle, you know. Yeah. Well, I think it's um, just to make some things clear. Aiza has chosen the African-American people for this day and time to uphold the grace, but this message that we give is for everyone. It's for everyone. I hope y'all can hear me because everybody say I talk love. <laughs> but it's given to everyone. Um, the African-American people has just been the one that's called to be on the front line with it. And like the brother said, they have been the one that's fighting the most. And um, we understand that because when truth comes, everything else has to fall down. Mm -hmm. And see, people ain't ready to fall down, you know, with all their falsehood. And um, African Americans have been chasing dreams, dream after dream after dream, because everybody have told us to believe in a dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times we go to sleep and have a dream, how much do we believe in the dream we have? It'd be some silly stuff coming out the dream, things that don't make no sense at all. Mm -hmm. We'd be fighting. Who really believes in their dreams? You know, in a way of, oh, I dreamed this last night, so now I'm going to work my way towards doing this. Mm, you know? Talking about your imagination, your awakened mm -hmm. imagination, whatever mm -hmm. you can, um, how can I say this, uh, bring up into your mind that of your greatest hope right and yeah. they call that your your dreams, dreams you know well my whole thing is we need to wake up to some reality some truth yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> forget about all right. that dreaming that's one of the black african-american problem we sleep too much well you know we daydream too much we live in la la land too much and everybody that come to us come with a pacifier and some warm milk to keep us that way mm -hmm. i i, I I understand the nature of your anger, <laughs> you know, and um, I'm tired of being angry myself. I'm not angry. I'm telling the truth. It's in your voice. 
Well, it's in your voice that you're Yeah, angry, okay. You know. If I could slap some people and wake them the hell up, I <laughs> see would. See what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I see, it's in her voice yeah. that she's angry. Like she said, <laughs> some people say, I don't talk loud enough. Yeah. That was me who said, speak up. <laughs> you know. I wasn't angry about I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm just no, 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 but the anger, I understand it. Because, see, it's like we're a hopeless case. Yeah. We know that most of us are going to be lost. We sure. know that most of us are going to hell. We know that by history, by what's written, by what Aiza Allah says, right. you know, and by what we see of our people being taken by their very enemies, by the very ones right. whose forefathers put them in slavery, by the very ones who has um, taken up the, the, the practice of keeping our people slaved to them. I don't care right. what position they give us, mm -hmm. they always give us a position, no matter how high it is, one that they can snatch from us. Hold it now. People would say that you're incorrect because we haven't had opportunity. Yeah, but like I said, <laughs> like I was saying, <laughs> forget about what what people, those people you angry with, huh? The thing about it is that when you are captivated by your enemy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, um, and, and you start adoring your enemy, you locked in. There's this perverted syndrome that goes on with people who are who are um, kidnapped. After a certain period of time, yeah. they start sympathizing mm -hmm. with their kidnapper. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely true. true. We as a people have been kidnapped, mm -hmm. sold into slavery, and we have become sympathizers and lovers of our kidnappers. Yeah. And I know people want to say, well, things have changed. Jesus changed things in his time. Martin Luther King changed Stand things right. in our time. They want us to look at Martin Luther King like Jesus. Right. You know, and, and you know, let's take, for instance, Nostradamus. Mm -hmm. Nostradamus, Edgar Casey, Right. Two men, one from way back when, one in the last century. Right. right. Talked about all kinds of things, all manner of men. Mm -hmm. But you look at their programs that they do, that they produce on television, f for the history, for History yes. Channel and what have you, yes. right? Mm hmm and they may talk about a thousand things. And not one of those thousands do they put a black man's face up. That's true. Not one of those thousands do they talk about the race of African Americans who is in the heart of this society. Mm -hmm. Who is a major part, a major player, have mm -hmm. always been of this society. Mm -hmm. the United States of America. Edgar Casey was blind to us. Nostradamus was blind to us. Finally, after 15, 20 years of me looking at this stuff, they throw Martin Luther King up in there yeah. yesterday. I said, what yeah. kind of trick? <laughs> oh, that's right. We got a black president. They yeah. got to add to it. They threw Martin Luther <laughs> King up in there. Right. And they picked Martin Luther King for us just like they picked Christianity for us. Right. right. Their brand of Christianity. Yeah, mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, let your master slap you and turn the other cheek. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Get in order with this, the, the, the laws of this Constitution, which was not written for us. Right. Right. You understand? Now, our people sympathize with that. Oh, they threw another guy, a couple of guys up there. They threw one face. The guy who, who did the terroristic shooting down oh, in Washington oh, in Virginia. Oh, 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 Virginia. Yeah. yeah. Virginia. yeah. yeah. Tamaha, they, mentioned Shab, one, yeah. they mentioned one, and they showed the young, bro, the young guy. The younger bro, guy, bro. yeah. It's negative. Well, we're going to show you Martin Luther King. Now we got to you, show you his negative. Well, you trained him. And, but, but let me tell you the psychological, yeah. uh, uh, subliminal, su the subliminal move they pulled. Mm -hmm. They was quoting some things, I think, from the Bible, mm -hmm. Revelation. Yeah. And when they said something about somebody not being in this time or the book or whatever, right. they threw this black boy's face up on the screen. Right. 
Oh yeah. Man, yeah, I yeah. said, look wow. at they so sharp. Right, they got all their tricks and they so yeah, sharp. Production. How many yeah. people pick yes. that up? Wow. Oh, that's a at very the heavy. same time they right. said they're not in it. Right. You understand? Right. So you know our people don't understand about the conspiracy. The worldwide, the international right, conspiracy, conspiracy against us. They think we just hate mongers talking, mm -hmm. you know. Right. But the thing about it is, you the it, the Holy Quran is as a book from the Lord Most High is evolving into yeah. this time. Yes, it is. See, it was written for that time about this, this time. time. Right. The, all the lying, deceit artists in Islam that don't want to recognize that Muhammad was talking about this day when he said, do you believe in Allah and the book and the angels and the messengers right. and the promised day, day. Right. the great and dreadful day? Right. Right. Huh? They're talking right. about this day. And right. when they talked about Muhammad not knowing the hour right. of this day, this day, mm -hmm. huh? It, it, it has evolved into this time, and it's talking about this time. Now, for this time, what Aiza Allah is doing with me is showing me in the Holy Quran how it's relative to us right. as a people, as a nation, as a world right. of Definitely. people. Right. Huh? Mm -hmm. how, it's, how it's directly relative to us. Mm -hmm. Opening it up, like they're saying... I, I was seeing this thing where they was the Jews was some Jews were saying they broke the code of the Bible. Right now <laughs> they they disputing or they 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 uh, they um, in competition about who broke the code right, who was more precise. Right. Saying that well, Nostradamus is not real. It bring he leaves shadows. What prophecy do you know that you could say this was prophecy before it happened? Right. Even in the book of Revelation, they, they, they just, they've gone through all these changes because they can't pinpoint certain things mm -hmm. right. about the time. Right. Huh? Okay. And instead, and, 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 all, and, and, and despite the fact that they agree that the book, now they agree that the Torah is from the Lord Most High, right. the five books or four books or whatever in the beginning of the Bible right. uh, that, they, that they saved from the Torah that they didn't lose. lose right. <laughs> Why is it, it not that instead of debating about the code of this, the magic code of this divine book, right. why not follow the tenets of it and stop being unfair and unjust and being the right. devil's right. servants, advocates, supporters against all other races of people in the world? Mm -hmm. Why yeah. not say, okay, I surrender. This covenant was for the world of humanity. Right. And our people, our forefathers, okay. try to keep it for themselves so they can have mm -hmm. power. The same as the Arabs have done with the Holy Quran. Right. Right. Try to take it and keep it for themselves right. as a power, as a, as a, as a, as a tool to rule other right. people. And you know what you said? And, uh, right. You said that, and it made me just reflect on. I was reading the paper about what's going on with the, the Israel, the and the Israeli Gaza and right. the Gaza, right. and yeah. right. the strip and everything. And I looked at it and I was like, wow, Aiza, these Arab countries has been getting hit hard in these wars, you know? And I said, well, I, you know these Israelites, uh, they ain't too right. right. Anyway, I'm like, okay, why is there so much chaos over there in the Middle East and in, in these countries? But by you talking, this just made me reflect. Nothing escapes Aiza. That's nothing. what we have to realize. Nothing. It don't matter to Aiza if Aiza don't send down this retribution on the people for mm -hmm. a million years. Nothing escapes them. And I thought about the Muslims when I was walking yesterday, how they come over here and try to enslave the African-American people. The Arab Muslims. The Arab right. Muslims try and to Turkish come over. And the Turkish. Or we should say the Aryan. The, the Aryan. The Semitic Mus Aryan yeah. Muslims. Yeah. They all related. Yeah. Yeah. They do the just Jews. like yeah. the Jews. <laughs> See, they brethren. Right. A lot of people don't yes. understand. Yeah. They the we same. That's right. why they can't get along. Right. right. Because right. they both want to rule. Right. And they want to use Aiza words to rule. Right. And, to, right. and I was telling people they was like slavery, this, that, and the other. I said, Trust and believe. Everybody with power want to enslave. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. But see, nothing escapes Aiza. 
You don't take Aiza word and use it for evil and think that you're going to have a lifetime of peace doing that. Mm -hmm. And I said, Aiza is causing all this hell to break out over there and all these evil people is all entangled into these things. And mm -hmm. these people over here in this country are so naive, especially us. Right. I'm surprised we're as naive as we are, that people I'm are. Not. Yeah, I thought because yeah. my sister was telling me who spent time in Iraq and everything, she said the soldiers from the United States treat them people over there, the civilians, so bad. They slap the kids in the head, kick them, the spit on them, and up. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we only hear about a little bit of incidents that we do over there. But she said, this right. is on the deli. They treat them like slaves. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they're they really is capturing you know, these people enslaving these right. people. Oh, yeah. And I have these a question. people is, look at yeah. these people, yeah. and these Caucasian, yeah. these soldiers, these people in these, these fatigues and everything, and they are a prisoner well, to them. Well, you got to remember that mm -hmm. these Caucasian military men that's going over there are the sons of these same people right. who have committed uh, mm -hmm. the, the offenses against the world, which got all the world nations hating the United States of America, yeah, right. something that the civilians are not aware of. Now, don't call your sister's name because you may get her in, tr her in trouble. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. You shouldn't even say it was your sister. Mm -hmm. mm, sure. you, you know what I mean? Because um, they have, many of the military people have to be debriefed when they come back because they're not supposed to tell. I was followed for five years after I got out of the military with a top secret clearance. They was concerned about me making statements about them supplying military weapons and propaganda to Iraq and Iran and, and talking against both of those countries to each of them, having them fight during the time of the, the Shah oh, and right. what have you and, yeah. and all the way up into the 70s yeah. and 80s, up, really up to now. Yeah. <laughs> They've been keeping them fighting. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I, the people here don't know what the government represents or the military represents abroad. Yeah. And then they wonder why somebody would want to bomb uh, the World Trade Center. Right. You know, that's small compared to the number of people that this nation have caused to die for unjust cause mm -hmm. in, in yeah. different in nations, power, man. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that thing with world, the World Trade Center is a prophecy of the Book yes, of Revelation. You understand? Mm -hmm. well, something that Nostradamus brought up. Right. right. Huh? Mm -hmm. And those people, like Aiza said, they will, it will never give them peace in Jerusalem. And every time they come, what they come to close to thinking they're going to have some peace accord, it falls also down. Part, they every will time. never have every peace time. over there. Mm -hmm. uh, Aiza said, Aiza Law said it's taking the grace, the beauty from the people in Mecca for its religion because of what they've done and what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And turn the religion into something other than what it was meant it's to be right. as a power move mm -hmm. for man. And my brothers and sisters here in this vicinity of Jersey, who I've been talking to for 30 years, mm -hmm. who wants to think that I'm deluded, like we said, like I said from what Aiza Allah said to me in the 90s. The Jews is going to take over Newark because they know that Nostradamus was talking about this city, city being right. the new chosen city, the holy city of our Jesus peace. peace. Right. So here they are in Newark taking it over through Mayor Booker, mm -hmm. who was one of them, who we knew was one of them before, he, before we even knew he was running for mayor because we used to see him with them oh, yeah. in Livingston and different places mm -hmm. in their synagogues mm -hmm. with hanging out with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You, you, you yes, feel sir. where I'm coming from? Yeah. So he's a plant mm -hmm. to see that this thing happen over here. So Newark and this vicinity is major in the book of Revelation. New York, yeah. major, major. Yeah. in the book of Revelation. Right. But people don't want to believe that the Lord Most High, the Lord El, is relating to man still. And, and the Muslims got millions of people thinking that, Maybe billions of people thinking that the Lord will not speak to man mm -hmm. anymore. Right. Just like the Christians have turned people to eating swine flesh mm -hmm. against Allah's word, the Muslims have turned people to thinking that thinking that Allah don't relate to man no mm -hmm. more. Right. 
equally as what the Christians have done with Jesus in that swine flesh. The Muslims equally have, have, have stepped across the line in evil to say that Allah will not relate to man through prophets mm -hmm. and messengers to, yeah. and, and, and to manifest his mercy upon right. humanity yeah. anymore. You know, in the Quran, and it's it like an ongoing, thing. It's, it's, right. an ongoing thing. it's an ongoing thing. It's an ongoing effect right. that uh, Aiza will continue to speak to his creatures. And, and, and also, Aiza uh, uh, related in the Quran in the name of Allah that uh, it will not relate, it could use anything as small as a gnat to yeah. relate to. So, I mean, if Aiza can use a gnat, will use a gnat. You can't think that you're too small to think that you're incapable, that Aiza is not great enough to uh, reach out to you, you know, reach out and speak to man in the language that's created by, you know, created by Aiza in itself. People, you know, so. Pe it, I'm sorry, I, 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 I just wanted to relate how, uh, it's interesting how those people, we're talking about the, the ancient Hebrews, the descendants of the Hebrews and the right. Arabs and the like, despite how obvious it is that they have lost their faith, that they lost their greats. You look at the wars and stuff that's going on, they still have the, the, the sense of pride or arrogance about the thing, the thing that they're an authority to give something to African Afri Afri American people, but it's interesting that the African American people, uh, maybe just the opposite, can't believe that they can be spoken to by Isa, that they're worthwhile. Yeah. But they're the sad say part uh -huh. about it is like the Jews took the Torah from the Hebrews mm -hmm. and possessed it. Right. The Arabs took the, took the Holy Quran from the Jews who supported mm -hmm. Muhammad and established this lamb in Mecca. Yeah. The ones who was in Medina, right? Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And took it and possessed it for themselves. Now, they all claim that they are the owners of Allah's words. Uh -huh. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. yes. And that way. Allah's words is is only unique to each of them. Right. Huh? Now mm -hmm. we talked a lot about how. Uh, Allah said in, in in chapter two, that is the book, but they translated to say this, this is, is the, the book, book about the Holy Quran. Right. And you went into the Arabic and found out, yeah, it do say that is the that book. That is the book. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is the book. That's yeah. chapter two. Yeah. Right. Yeah, in words. chapter yeah. 15, Al Hijra, yeah. they said Allah says something relative to I'm giving you this from the book and right. the illuminating Quran. Mm -hmm. This chapter. Yes. Mm-hmm. From the book, mm -hmm. what book? And the illuminating Quran mm -hmm. made it distinct. Right. Somebody who lied and said, right. this is the book, forgot to take that out, didn't mm -hmm. he? Right. Yeah, see, see how yes. Allah do them? Yeah. And then at the end of chapter 15, about four verses or so right. before the end, end it. it says, I give to you, right. speaking to Muhammad and us, the people that come after Muhammad, right? I give to you the seven off. That's right. The seven off repeated the verses, verses and the and the glorious crime. That's right. You see, so Allah talked about three books. It talked about the seven off repeated verses, mm -hmm. which we look at as a book. Right. That's the opening. Yes. The opening. The opening. That's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it talked about the illuminating Quran, which is from chapter 2 to chapter 114, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is like 1 to 113. Mm -hmm. Right. And the Torah. Mm -hmm. and, that same and in that book, that glorious Quran, it talked much about the book of Revelation. Right. And, the, the, and it referred to what Jesus brought. Yeah. Much. Oh, yeah. Aiza points out in that same chapter, in chapter 2, for example, when it speaks about, I have given you the book, and this book is fulfilling that which is with you. Now, now, now mm -hmm. if Aiza is showing these people that it's connecting them between the brethren of, right. and the descendants of Abraham, between mm -hmm. Isaac and Ishmael, Aiza said, this book is confirming that which came before it. Right. I said, wow. Either. Then Allah said further on that it spoke much about to the Hebrews extensively in that chapter two. Mm -hmm. Extensively talking to them yes. because they yeah. have stolen, yeah. have yes. taken a whole, possessed that book back then, the Quran, mm -hmm. and yes. tore it in. Mm -hmm. And said, now, would you turn this book away from the people that come behind you? Mm -hmm. Would you call people, mm -hmm. not call people to good, and then you yourself don't follow the book mm -hmm. itself that mm -hmm. you got? Mm -hmm. Then this man is fulfilling that, which is what you calling you back mm -hmm. to the truth again. I said, boy, Allah is talking to him. And the message is telling us now, and I easily yeah. showing us now, how our people, now I'm talking about African Americans now, in this nation, 
Like he said, don't see themselves in history only through the slavery part, but not connecting now as part of the prophecy being fulfilled in this hour right, day now. Right, right. That's we the are thing, major right? Players in this day, in the prophecy for today, we are major yes, sir. players, and just like uh, what happened to the major players in all right. the days mm -hmm. of Aiza of, of the Lord El. Right. Those calling, most of them get taken out because right. they are the very ones that reject the most. <laughs> right. They reject yes, the messengers the most. Such as the record of the people of Moses, the people of Moses who rejected time after time. You have generation. to remember yeah. that. You have to remember that the people of Moses was a was a people that was called long before yeah. Moses, mm -hmm. and right. they had committed much offense. <laughs> Against the Lord L. Yes, sir. That's why they ended up in slavery under the hand of the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Huh? Right. Their brother has set them free. Sure How did did. they end up back in Egypt as slaves? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they was they Moses came to get the twelve tribes right. who had grown. That's right. Right. And That's you know right. the they um they're so smooth and we live in a capitalistic society mm -hmm. and they're so smooth in what they do, they make these biblical stories. And I buy these biblical tapes and stuff. And you watch them and you got to look at it real closely and watch yeah. and see the deceit. Now, we could, you look at the biblical stories and they're trying to keep the stories of old and put it into the present. But man is making them um, doing these films. And they're doing it the way they could mm -hmm. set it up so it could sell. Mm -hmm. So what did, um, what was the brother name that did Malcolm X? Spike Who wrote Lee. Spike Lee. Spike Lee right. Now, Spike Lee, young brother. Probably didn't even know much about Elijah, well, but he allowed he allowed Farrakhan and them to give him the description of Elijah. He allowed Elijah enemies to tell some of Elijah's story so he can make Malcolm Malcolm a action justified. And now we raise how can we raise a student above the teacher? teacher right. Mm -hmm. Right now, what people don't understand is that a law gives different laws. When the law sends down a messenger prophet, the messenger prophet is divorced and, 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 and is divorced from what we're given to do. You know, their right. actions is totally separate. Right. Understand. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And, and Although it's everybody. In the books. Yeah, Every, they're under right. different law. Right. And yes. everybody looking at yeah. Elijah, the outward aspect of what was taking place in his life. Just like if someone was to look at us, they're going to um, kind of put us together through looking at our children or looking at people around us. But that's not us. You understand what I'm right, saying? Right. So that's what they did to Elijah. So Elijah, they couldn't see Elijah because then they would have to see the light of a law. So right. they couldn't see Elijah. So anything Elijah did that wasn't in accordance with this um, what I, what, how I could say without sounding so mad yeah. with this um, constitution. Okay. You know, um, Elijah was wrong. Not They never stopped to look that a law law is way above man law. Man wrote the law to fit his own needs. Man, right. man has set up a law where he can have a wife and sleep with how many women he want, and that's okay in this society, and leave right. children all over the world, and that's okay in this They're society. They're going directly against Allah's word about right. man having more than one wife, wife going directly yeah. against it. And, and then, because women don't want to surrender to Allah, they want to surrender to a man, they want a man to surrender to them, it's all acceptable. Women wants to surrender to their their lower desires, and their well, passion, that and they too. want their man to, to surrender, surrender to, to that, that and worship through that. Right. Mm -hmm. and be so Who of you want to do things right? To keep up with keeping your lives tight? Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you?